Oh yeah. Yeah, because uh, Rasmu. Oh, I was going to expect Suicune, but okay, uh, Egg Slash. Either way, we know this much. Counter armor sucks yep. for Gengar yep. when it comes in spades. And here we have a spade with a shield. Yep. So, and this is actually what Rasmu used against Spud offline uh, earlier in brackets. So this is a salty run back uh, for Grand Finals, so obviously Spud doing a really good job with his um, uh, loser's run here. But Rasmu, uh, you know, definitely give him a run for his money. We'll see what happens here, though. Rasmu has a very strong start on that damage. Gengar managed to see how to sneak out, but... Oh, all right. Dang, okay. Did I just see a Shadow Sneak Instant JX? That's in a, that's some new tech, I believe. Now, it is interesting that he's using Litten. Uh, Raspy using Litten in this matchup. I could see maybe some of the projectile cancels like, I can close the gap, but it depends on how soon you can react after this. I think it's, like, partially because space control, and two, because it just does amazing damage when you're on right, your last leg. Right. Amazing damage, amazing shield and chip damage. It's nothing to, like, mess with. Ooh, nice to be creative. Uh, punching that JX. And for the Litten. Uh, Find some space and time. And now that shield point. Nice. Oh. Alright. See, there's that JY Astonish. You gotta watch your back when it comes to that option. You gotta block the JY, because if you if you try to do anything versus the JY and he follows up with Astonish, it's a hot. <laughs> Nice, avoiding the lit completely. Ooh, a little, uh, a little early there on the dash. Otherwise, it would have worked. All right, just by pulling out the burst here. Ow, barely nicked. All right, good tornado. All right, Rasmus is feeling the pressure. I'll put 2Y in there, I like that. Dash in, grab. Great punish on Dressman's uh, part. Ah. Uh, <laughs> might hurt. Yep. Yeah, I tried to counter. I believe uh, Sir Spy was trying to CADC, but come down a little not quite as fast as he could might. Mm -hmm. And in that situation, it's probably better to just go for the raw dash. He create I'm just hitting him with one little hitbox. Alright, 8Y there, and do some work. Same with the 4Y. Oh, he got the shadow ball. I didn't realize that uh, traded. Eh, projectile interactions are a bit awkward, but yes, Shadow Ball does have a solid projectile strength. Not like a medium, uh -huh. mid, strong kind of priority. Okay. I'm struggling with this round here. Oh my oh gosh. Man. Risky. Lovely Shadow Sneak, but that Oki grab will cost his butt his life with the grab crush from Rasmu. That's me taking it up. I want to know. This bud looking down and thinking real hard about what he wants to do. Alright. Yeah. Sir Spud on to a good start. Whimsical granting and 40% meter, but Rashmi running in and getting the grab, shifting the phase, and gets meter in return. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Shut up while trading with JY. Nice JY, air to air. Good conversions, hard knockdown. Nice, team shield. Okay. Okay, Shadow Punch working out. Get some health back. Much needed. Oh, 
Press the ABC and the CA. All right, Brasnew actively putting Sir Spud in the corner and just applying pressure straight to where it's going to break. Um, that counterattack, I don't actually believe is applied. It's a it's a mid, and the only person who can duck it is uh, breaks. It. I can duck it. Can you? It's it's a it's definitely a high. I assure you. Really? Yes. So. so Oh, mid -line. okay. Okay. Uh, this might catch him at the tip. No, okay. Vegas slam. Jumps out. Last move going in. We got them just range. We got the burst conversion. That's probably going to get scaled down pretty hard, too. Going to get scaled, and then, of course, Sylveon can open. Yeah. Who's gonna put him in? Yes. Oh no. my god. Not within rain, uh, rage range quite yet. Nice JX punish on the miss. Okay. Rasmu respecting the Jingwai Astonish Oki and Sir Split with oh, the Catalyze. Nice. Alright, I love nice. it. Okay. Really good execution. But is now like changing up his set play just to like just for once throwing him off the uh, Scooby. You can shout a sneak, cancel out of it, and jump, cancel out of it, and at least to a lot of shenanigans. Okay. Oh, jeez. CADC, he like just yeah. dashes everywhere. Holy cow. CADC abuse. I, and honestly, it was smart on Raspy part because he was trying to prevent getting quick stuff. So, really, really, really smart of there. At the same time, though, it's, it's very abusive, and you got to be just on point to challenge it. It, it. It's mentally taxing to do so, but you can't let someone see it in your face. If they, you respect them like that, and they'll get away with murder like that. Well, and also, doesn't it just slash uh, four dash have counter frames? Uh, it has projectile crushing frames, but it doesn't have counter frames. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that's why he was going for it because he was expecting to astonish, which acts as a projectile sometimes. Um, so yeah, I see what he's going for. That means also covers a lot of options. Okay. That yeah, that two X is pretty good. If it whiffs, it has such a crazy one hitbox afterwards. All right, Sir Spud pulling out Sylveon. Nice shadow punch, punish on the Litten call. All right, Blue Shield. Four Y. Nice shadow speed JX. Good timing. Hard knockdown, Scooby. Another Scooby. Back jump. Jane oh. Boy Astonish. <laughs> it might be big. This is going to definitely be big. Nice. 2x for the big boy damage. Sir Spud bringing it up around. He's brushing the sweat off his brow. He's he's feeling a little bit uh, hard work right now, but... Good, it's good confirm there from Ryan. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nice. Cursing right under that laser. You know, and I don't think Sir Spud has been hit very often with that. Right? He's very consistent on avoiding it, uh, which is good. He's been very on point with these JX timings, too. Mm -hmm. Great Oki grab to get that phase shift, get that full meter. He's got Sylveon on. That CA, charge Shadow Ball. Charge Shadow Ball actually getting rid of... Wow, okay. Charge Shadow Ball is just so freaking strong. It's yeah. crazy. It's, it's very strong. Charge Shadow Ball has a better uh, projectile priority than regular Shadow Ball. And it certainly doesn't hurt either that his uh, Shadow Punch actually has a projectile uh, arc wall, like right in front of Gengar. <laughs> so. but, oh, all right. Yeah, you can't, you can't burst nice. that. Nice. All right, Spud. Taking game three here, moving to game four. 
all the things you don't do. It's generally not trying to uh, reversal against a very active multi-hitting move with uh, burst. Yep. You're asking for it. You you got five frames, but five frames is all it needs for you to get walked on. It's basically versus Gengar, because like when you get hit versus a Mega Gengar, that's that's instant burst conversion. Yep. It, it, it's so much damage. It, it's like easily the most damaging burst in the game. A solid 250, 260 after a hit. Yep. And with rage, ugh. yep. That's nasty. So as we can see, Rasmi is switching to uh, Suicune here. Yeah. First bud has to steal himself for this one. A lot of CA continuing abuse from Rasmi. Good conversion into the curse, though. Sledge Bond to put down the attack one bud. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. Water spout, water beam, catches your spud. Some help back. I like that. New Rasmu going with that neutral Y into um, that charged ice beam just for the sheer chip damage. Yep. Oh gosh, okay. Got rid of the um, debuff. Definitely helps. Oh my god. Go watch out for that CA follow up. Wow. Risky as heck. Oh my Ooh. gosh. Two really, really close follows. Ooh, nice. Oh okay. The instant shadow sneak JY astonished. We get the full punish. Do we see? Okay. Face shift. Not going for an Oki opportunity. The Wrath of does feel the pressure. Pull us out first. Yeah. I like what he did there, though. Jumps into the JY. I like what he did there, but it was just misspaced, just a couple feet out back for where it should have been. The punish. Okay. Astonish. Okay, get it back in the door. Rasmus does have that Umbri on up, though. Dang. See why Astonish set plays do not quite work too well on Suicune. Ooh. I love it, Sir but knowing just where the dead zones are, where he can safely jump and just shout sneak and get in. Nice, okay. Going out the counter. Yeah. Just by catching him, countering in. Lovely whip punch with that JX. Got that corner pressure down. Nice. All right. Rasmus is still sitting on set point here. He's out one more round to take the set completely and uh, take first. First play, however, is not someone to be counted out right now. He certainly has the comeback factor. He has full meter and he has the face shift. Rasmus feeling cocky. He's up counting. Ooh. Point like Aurora Beam, man. Risky. Uh, find a really good opportunity to just say, yeah, you threw out a projectile, uh, wait a second. <laughs> Side Y, JX, baiting out that CA. Sure, but has Rasmus' number now. He knows he's abusing that CA, and he's figured his way around it. He's not falling for it, and he is staying straight out of his attack area. Ooh, yep, that's going to do it. Not quite. Oh, yep. The it's sap, always the sap. Yeah. It's always the life sap. <laughs> so, all right. So into game five. Spud might be able to get the reset. Cross your fingers. Sir Spud is nodding. He feels he has rasped you down. It seems like it. He's a very mental player, so he knows how to adapt to a uh, change in game plan from the opponent yep. or a lack of. Oh, okay. Hydro Pump, really good option there because uh, it's a laser and that tends to go through a lot of projectiles. I know a Roar Beam got stopped, but Hydro Pump. 
a lot of these little water spout fangs trying to play with Sir Spud's mind here, but yeah, Sir Spud's not having it. He's trying to catch Rasmew up backing with that Astonish. Looks like he can do his counterattack uh, tendencies, though. Mm -hmm. I guess it kind of works a little better when at range, but Ungar can't really hit him that far. Nice. Ooh, got him. Got him. Jump forward and stun it. Dang. Pops it, but. Ooh. Nice counter. Yeah, no way to extra sweep in here. No little at all. Risky there. Oh, oh buddy. A little bit close. We are in the danger zone. Lovely jump out of that side wide. Punishing Rasmu for that CA on whip. I like the curse. Um, just to get. Oh my oh, god! That does not pierce counter. And that's really, really smart from Rasmu because that says, hey, you need to close the gap. And obviously, he just did. Oh. Now that pierces counter. Yep. Here. But has Rasmus number here. Astonish catching, that CA is vulnerable, friends. Umbreon hitting Sir Spud, but fortunately he doesn't exactly have synergy to lose here. Nice. I like the dash in the CADC. Getting those ghost dashes help him out. Alright, Scooby, shall sneak back. Get that shadow punch in. Of he's not using the burst. He's saving it. Yeah. We've seen him save it before. He, he's certainly wanting to hold it out for the last second when it's going to like make or break a round. All right, Rasmu busting it out. He wants to be decisive. This is going to hurt. This might bring it to a uh, final round. There's no living through this. Perhaps if Sir Spud had called Sylveon like right on wake up, but risky. Yep. However, Sir Spud, strong meter right now, he does have Sylveon right out the gate, and Rasmu has to work his way uphill for this one. Fading out that, uh, oh, what was it, an ice cream? Uh, I think a uh, hydro pump. Hydro pump, right. Good curse here, a lot of damage. And actually, first again. Yeah. Ooh, that call out working out. Aurora beam. Simple. Three times. Sneak JX. <laughs> See, I love that neutral line homing attack behind it to cover it. This is an easy crit punish. Let's go. A lot of health back, too. Very important for Gengar to win that phase there. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, there's the Umbreon. No! Hey, guess down. what? I got iframes. And so gonna eat them here. Ah! Yes. Countering in time! Yeah. It's oh in this game. Nice! Oh, Alright, barely necking them here. So Sir Spud's gonna get the reset, and we got another best of five coming up. Best of ten. No. Sir Spud getting those CA punishes on lockdown. Yep. Like I know that you are abusing this. I'm not gonna let you get away with it. I because the thing is with frame traps, they're also if they're usable in neutral, they're also usable in frame trapping your CA. Yep. Alright, back into it here. Ask me sick about that Suicune. You know any other other characters in his kid that would uh, work here. Alright, He's got you on deck for the big boy attack buff and crit buff potential. Alright, that forward Y catching the Sir Spud jumping over. Roar Bean catching him jumping. A lot of damage on that. Yeah. 
Surprisingly, he took less damage than if he took the uh, Hydro Bump, so I suppose that worked out well for Spud. He jumped right before getting hit by that neutralized white air tag. Scooby. Oh, got the dash. Sylveon call. Get that defense out. Interesting choice in trying to go for the 8x there. Rasmu playing the lockout game with this JY. That's going to punish Hydro Pump. Really, really, actually, that was really, really smart from Spud. He's like, yeah, I know he's going to mirror cut it, but I can at least get up in the air and try to punish it. And sometimes that's nicked him. But, you know, it definitely worked out well for Spud there. It's nicked him a lot. Yeah. It, it's been doing the work. So, okay. Sir Spud pulling out burst. He wants to be decisive. He wants to finish Ooh. this right before Rasmus gets any chance to turn it back. So, unfortunate that he burned through all of his synergy there, but it worked. It got the confirm. It got the kill. Like, that's the important part. Got him with the punch. Nine shots, baiting out that award being punished with the astonish. Yeah, Sir Spud saw that the first time and he was like, I'm gonna capitalize on this a second time. Homing tag behind that neutral wide there. Oh, okay. Baiting it out. Baiting yep. it out. Yeah. Grass News just being busy killing himself with that mirror coat. 8x. Generally safe option. Ooh, nice yeah. grab. Sir Spud working on this amazingly hot perfect. Ooh. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Well, not too much. He does have that defense buff. Yep, Sylveon helping out a little bit here. Um, I don't think I saw it was great though, was it? It was. No, that's still hefty damage. And yep. Let that, that go, but all right. Got a punch doing some work, but the full screen. Oh, got my blizzard. Even one little hitbox. That's a lot. Oh, that's going to confirm. Oof. A lot of damage over there. It's okay. But does have that full synergy meter, however. That's new. Okay. Trying to challenge that CA with his own, so he's putting his timing in, however. DCA DCs. Oh, got him with the Aurora Beam. Ah, Blizzard catching him too. That sealed me on up. Ask me a feeling cocky. He's up stancing. Yeah, Scooby catching him, shield dropping. That's gonna take away some of that burst. Rasmus does have Mew, however. All right, good synergy drink. Sir Spud, he, he sees that meter. He's like, I'm gonna go straight for it. You have to be careful though, we can't go for low meter. Oh my god. Ooh. Ah, caught him on the spin to win. Rasmus, we're gonna take game one here of the reset. Sir Spud scratching the hairs on his chinny chin chin. <laughs> Trying to compartmentalize everything that changed within that last game. Rasmu is doing less of a job when it comes to blowing himself up with that mirror coat. He recognizes that now. Oh my god, he is getting pump. that hydro pump out though. Yeah, that worked out very well. All right, Sir Spun with the uh, fake out 8x, thinking yeah, this is going to be an attack that you can't really see, eh? Going for that grand. Ooh, nice grab crush. And a grab crush to return the favor. Rasmus getting a solid amount of meter of that, but Gengar, Sir Spud, chasing that back dash. Big pressure. Nice, okay. 
a lot of trade back and forth. Um, yeah, just Spud's movements are crazy good. Yeah. Well, that yeah. preemptive anti-air Aurora beam there. Drop it though, off of that astonish. That's me feeling the pressure. Oh no! Hopped right into it. Gutsy grab on Rasmus Park. Sir Spud is not looking too great. Yeah, do it, yep. Do it. Got to watch out for that win. It's, it doesn't really do that much block stun, so it, it's more decide. Uh, oh, what's the word? Mind game? Not quite mind game. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Mm, that Aurora Beam. Er, not Aurora Beam. Um, Blizzard. Blizzard, yeah. A lot of damage from that, too. Really hard to land those. Alright, full we'll CA. Great. Curse. Sludge Bomb to get down. Good call out on the ground. Alright, side wide. Not burst. I'm surprised he's hanging on to it. Ooh, see, DCing away from that CA. Rest me, please, and run in and grab. Ooh, going in with the grab call out. I'm gonna kill him, but he's only one hit away. Nice, okay, right. really tall hitbox on the only attack. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's gonna be dead. Oh, mm -hmm. Surprisingly yeah. not, but I don't know how he's gonna turn this around. Yeah, there, yeah, there is no way that he could have done that. That's rough. Well, Rasmu is turning it up a little bit. He's playing between the hyper aggro now and the uh, just more defensive, like lockout kind of game between JYing and Aurora Beam. Because it's really hard to maneuver around that for everybody. Um, especially when your jump is quite high, like say Gengar's or Charizard's. Um, Really hope Spud see what I think he's doing. He is all right. Yeah. So this this honestly, um, I think this is a decent choice because the uh, the hover stance is really gonna uh, counteract those water guns that he keeps going for. He's just got to make sure that he doesn't get grabbed on the approach. Certainly. And just a really fast EADC is like scissors reactions out of um, uh, counterattacking are just so fast. Yeah. It's. It's very movement heavy. So he's got the mobility. He can just go through all these Aurora Beams, all these J-Lines without any impedance. Spud switching up that game straight out from deception to aggression. And that is the word that I was looking for, deception. Oh, caught him. And grab. Yep, that's gonna do it. Really, really solid pick here from Spud, and a very um, dim, like I don't know, just really dominating round there for him. Okay, got the clash at least. So to go for a grab, we get home and cancel. Ooh, and that counter attack here. However, Sir Spud's still sitting on the full meter. He'll he'll take that damage if it means he saves burst. That's me getting that CADC through and ready, though. I like the uh, the short hops here. Sweet Coon playing up that up close game. Oh my gosh, alright. Raspy turned this around pretty quick. Uh, okay. Aurora Beam catching him, but it's okay. Sir Spud does have burst, he has rage, and he has attack buff. Ah, okay. Ah. I respect him not using it uh, because he was really close, and it's a yeah. lot of work to go through 500 HP on your last leg. So it's it just might as well save it for round three. Raspy going in hot with that homing attack. 
trying to catch Rasmus and jumping in with those, uh, it's not bullet time, but I don't believe. Uh, the Metal Claw, maybe? I don't think he's been using bullet punch a lot. Metal Claw is the really big one. Yeah, that's punishable. Hmm. That up stance. Alright, Eevee. He's got the ring. Ooh, yeah, all right. there we go. This is going to do some serious damage. Yep. Infestation. Wait, that's Bug Bite. Bug Bite? Yeah, the Command Grab's Bug Bite. My bad. You get... I thought it was always cold. You know what? It's kind of infestation. Though. Ooh, try to go for the burst. That's nice. easy crit. Oh, just Did my... he do something? No, I don't think he respected it, this one. Oh, okay. The JY. Those two hits, man. A really solid play, though, from both these two. Raspy is going to get the 3 0 on the reset and take first today. So, um, I need to hand out some money. Give us a, just a second here. We're going to set that up.